Hi, I'm Jason Lusk, a distinguished professor and head of the Agricultural Economics Department at Purdue University. I'm excited that you're considering Purdue, and in particular, the Department of Agricultural Economics for graduate school. I know it's been a tough time with COVID-19, but here at Purdue, we've uh, persevered, and I think with good results. The majority of our classes this year have been in person. We had a good cohort that started this year and has been successful, and we're looking forward to a new cohort starting in the fall, hopefully, including you. You'll be joining one of the best agricultural economics departments in the world. A recent ranking put us as uh, number four agricultural economics department in the world. We have over 40 world-class faculty working on a whole host of issues ranging from international development, international trade, to uh, farm management, production economics, agribusiness, sales and marketing, uh, to other issues such as uh, environmental economics, policy, and consumer demand issues. We have a variety of centers in the department that graduate students have opportunities to engage with. We have the Center for Food and Agribusiness. We have a Center for Commercial Agriculture. Uh, we have GTAP, the Global Trade Analysis Project. We have the Purdue Initiative for Family Business. We have a new center focused on rel uh, rural demand issues. And of course, these are just a, a small sampling of the many opportunities for graduate students to get engaged with both outreach uh, and research in these uh, variety of issues. Almost all of our students are on funding. Uh, in our traditional master's and PhD programs, our students are tend to be on research assistantships or teaching assistantships. So we hope this is a place you can come and learn, but also a place that you can afford uh, to live while you're getting your degree. Our students get great jobs. Our master's students in recent years have taken jobs with some of the, the most well-known consulting companies such as McKinsey or EY, but also jobs with agribusinesses such as John Deere, Bayer, Elenco, Cargill, Farm Credit, and of course, many others. At the PhD level, our students uh, in recent years have taken tenure track faculty positions at uh, universities such as Arizona State University, Utah State, Michigan State, uh, University of Florida, uh, with government agencies such as USDA, and even NGOs like the World Bank. Um, if you come here, it's, of course, you're gonna get a world-class education, but you're also gonna get to interact with a great set of fellow students. We have students from six continents in the world. Uh, I don't think we have them from all 50 states, but certainly from all over the United States. Uh, we have a very active graduate student organization that organizes regular coffee hours, picnics, and social gatherings. Uh, and they even this year created a help desk to help out our new incoming set of students that we're dealing with a very different kind of world because of the COVID situation. So I know choosing graduate schools is, is tough business, but I do hope that you'll give Purdue a serious look. Uh, you might have heard that the first man on the moon uh, Neil Armstrong was a graduate of Purdue University, so I'll use maybe his turn of phrase, you know, and, and encourage you to take a small step and learn how agricultural economics can help you take giant leaps, leaps at Purdue University and beyond. I look forward to seeing you here in the fall.